Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Now, a lot of my videos, I've been focusing on the iPad. Um, and so I just want to show you, a lot of people are thinking about transitioning. I get a lot of comments as well. People thinking about transitioning from using a laptop or a desktop to using the iPad exclusively. And one of the main questions that they have is, hey, yo, can I be using Microsoft Office? Does the Office Suite work on the iPad? So I'm, in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, a quick tutorial, okay, on how well um, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel works on the iPad. So if we jump onto the iPad here, you can see uh, I've downloaded the actual applications, the native applications for um, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. They're right here. Uh, and these work flawlessly, okay? I think the, the sort of feature parity between the desktop version and the iPad version is coming to par. Uh, of course, there might be one or two uh, issues missing. And of course, you power users out there, all those power users in, in our community can figure out what those features are. Comment in the section below uh, and I'll check them out for you if they work or not. Um, so let me just go do a general review here. So let's open up Word. I was looking at this uh, analysis of uh, nutrition uh, fruit and vegetable. Okay, this is from the .gov UK. They were doing some um, doing some data on um, vegetable analysis or something, nutritional analysis of fruits and veg. So you can see here, for the most part, I mean the formatting is you've got all of the options available on the ribbon on the top. Okay, so for the text formatting, you've got everything there. You've got bullet pointing. You can convert these to um, uh, what do you call it? You can convert these to numbers if you want. Okay, you can change the formatting here if, if, if you'd like. You could even like select one word, you can tap and hold this and I can move it somewhere else just like you would on the desktop. So I can move surveys there. Uh, again, if I tap and drag, I can move it back. Where was it? This survey analysis. Yeah, this survey analyzed. A um, couple of other things that you have here, for example, is I could do read aloud. Okay, so if I go to view uh, and I go to immersive reader, uh, I can even change like the text, the page color. So none, for example, or I could go to uh, uh, this color here and I can start doing read aloud. So I'm going to go ahead and from the top, I want to do read aloud. You can hear this. Nutrient analysis of fruit and vegetables. This survey analyzed the nutrition composition of a rec So if you did have a long document, you could go ahead and use immersive mode to read aloud. It will go through the whole document. You can even change the speed as well of uh, the narrative of the read aloud, uh, which is fantastic. All the layout features are also available. So for example, if I go to layout, um, let's just go here. I can convert this to columns. So I can say two equal columns. So now I've, I've converted the document into columns. A couple of extra things as well, like on the iPad, because you've got an Apple Pencil, what you can do is you can sign and you can annotate and you can draw. If I go to the drawing tab, uh, I can draw and I can draw with touch as well. So I could go down here, go to the bottom of the document and I could just sign this off. So if I wanted to sign this off, I could sign it off. That's highlighted. I don't know why I've got the highlighter there. So let's just undo that. I could even sign it off using the Apple Pencil. So I just want to sign something off. Okay, if I just want to sign it like that, I can sign it off using uh, the Apple Pencil or I could do it with touch input. Okay, that's something that you can't do on a desktop. If you don't have a touch screen device, that's something that you can't do on your desktop or your laptop. So it's brilliant on the iPad, you can do that. Also, in addition, because it's an iPad, you do have a camera there. You could go to insert and you can go to camera. So we can actually insert something using the camera. So if I wanna uh, take a picture of this, okay, and I could go ahead and use that. Uh, what's brilliant is because uh, I've, you know, I, I can annotate as well. So if I go to the drawing section, I could do it with a finger, or I could do it with my pencil. Uh, let's go with maybe a red pen here. And now I can like annotate on this and say mm, brand logo. Okay, uh, whatever. Change this to silver. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. I could do all of that. So that's Word. Word is brilliant. I mean, everything works here. Uh, can you have two Word files at the same time? Let's go ahead and check if I can split screen. There you go. I can split screen. I knew that anyway, but <laughs> yeah, you can split screen a Word document. So if I go to my recents, I don't know what's open here or, or what's available. Let's just see if I can open that. Is there anything here? There's nothing there. So I can start writing here. In fact, what I can do is if I'm on this document, let me just zoom into here a little bit. So here what I could do is I could go ahead and uh, double tap this 
uh, go ahead and copy control or command copy and then command V and paste it over here okay so I can work uh, with two live documents it's possible that I can do that can I split screen with other applications for example PowerPoint can I bring PowerPoint here yes I can you see I can have a word document and I can have my PowerPoint uh, running it on the same side so this is a book review my daughter was doing a book review in fact let's just uh, that's a brilliant segue into PowerPoint so let's show you uh, some things about PowerPoint so you can again you can add images text you can resize uh, of course there's all the animation tools that are available to me so i can insert um maybe we can do random bars i can do an emphasis effect uh, grow and shrink i could do the exit effect i could even do transitions so for example uh how i want the transitions how i want one slide to go into the next uh vortex shred glitter oh i wonder what glitter does uh and i can apply different uh, transitions to different slides i'll have this as honeycomb let's see what that looks like i'm just going to play it uh and see oh that's nice isn't it what was that a vortex uh let's see so there's a little animation there shrink and grow or whatever it was that's the honeycomb oh that's really nice that is so yeah all the transitions do work um what else can you do so if i scroll down here you can see that my daughter's sort of done some handwriting there so if i added new um slide just like we did on word you can also do um, handwriting so um, the apple pencil input so if i go to draw okay on the top here uh, i can start drawing here let's say for example i'm going to draw uh, a star that's that's the best star that i could do now what i can do is i can go to the the select tool okay as long as i select the shape uh, yeah look i can convert my hand-drawn shape into like an actual shape so there's uh, there's writing ink to shape recognition so if i go back to drawing and now i write something okay so i can just say here by beard okay beard isn't actually <laughs> my my real name uh bear okay and then i'll just go to the select tool i'm going to highlight it and what i can do is i can convert this okay in to text so ink to text you see that ink to text so you've got ink to text and you've got ink to draw uh, features available here on powerpoint and you don't have those features available on the desktop okay or you don't have um you know touch input then you can't do that on the desktop what's br brilliant about the ipad is let's say you are going to transition from you know uh, a desktop to an ipad especially in the corporate world where you have to sign documents okay so if you're signing something someone sent out uh, a bunch of slides or a pdf you've converted it into powerpoint you can go ahead and you can sign it with your apple pencil or you can even do it with your with your finger okay you can uh, ink by touch uh so that's brilliant i want to show you something on excel okay so on excel this is actually some really fantastic oh my god man i've been through these features on excel before i'm just going to show you something if you're transitioning from you know your corporate um account so you're using excel and then you're going to jump onto an ipad is there feature parity there let's go ahead and check it out so i'm going to go to excel here and i just want to show you something here yeah of course all of the you know data entry and all of that stuff's available um and then you can generate your charts and your tables and all of that good stuff one extra thing that i want to show you here that's available on the ribbon that's my home ribbon okay i've got all of my formatting options there and then i could go ahead and i could go to like insert and then insert data from a picture so i'm going to select that picture there that's what i want and let's go ahead and grab some of this information here yeah so i want to grab this information here Yeah, let's let's get this. So here we go. I think that should be okay. So there was one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's sixty um data points. Okay. If I were to type all those sixty data points in, if I was if I was a data clerk, okay, this is why it's so brilliant um in the corporate world you know you're sitting there and you're filling up data your data clerk or whatever and you've got all this raw data that you need to put into excel this is 60 data uh data items okay into excel within five seconds i mean i haven't edited this part of the video you can check how long that took for it to pick up these 60 um data points so i'll go ahead and insert that so with this data now i can just start doing my analysis or whatever i need to do so for example if i wanted to find the the maximum here i could do um equals max okay equals max max from what max from all of this data okay and then go ahead and find out 
that that's the max. Okay, so two, 231 is the max. Minimum, what is the minimum? I think there's some, uh, if I go to formulae, there's, a, there's so many here. Look, auto sum, recent, financial, logic. There are so many if statements, if error. Okay, if false. Uh, let's just go to an auto sum and we can do minimum. Minimum of what? Minimum of this data. Enter and it gives me my minimum value. Most of the features are here. Everything's available here. You can use, uh, you know, extensive formulas as well. Look, I'll just let you have a look at these. Okay, financial formulas. So, oh my God, this just goes on and on and on and on and on. They are all here. All the features are here. Okay, look at this. You've got math and trig. I think you've got, what's it, stats. You've got all the stats formulae. It's all here. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a power user of an Excel. Uh, I do use it where I need to. In fact, this was a project that we did in class. Okay, math project we did in class. And we were looking at data. And in fact, I did. Here was my question. And I basically got the data from this picture here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you can use all of the data entry tools um, on Excel. What's brilliant is that if I go back to that insert, you've got data from a picture. I don't think that feature is available on desktop. I don't think <laughs> it's not there on my laptop anyway. So, the ultimate question can you use Microsoft Office? on an iPad? And the simple answer is yes, you can. Unless you're a power user and you've got something, you know, using macros. Oh, that's another thing. Macros, you can't run macros uh, on Excel. Pretty much all the rest of it, you can use pivot tables. I have used them in the past. Um, so you can use all of those features uh, on PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. It's really, really quite close to what the desktop is. I mean, I've exclusively been using the iPad for several years now, and it works. I mean, it does me well. I, you know, I use all my applications. I use it because of this though, because I can do, you know, handwritten annotations um, and I can manipulate text and it's fun. At the end of the day, I ain't gonna lie, it's it's fun using the iPad. When I want to, I can just pull it off. You know, I don't need to use it as, you know, with the, with the uh, Bluetooth keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, I can just go ahead and do that. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, I see you in the next one.